سیزنال پاپریکا 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 با پاپریکا Hi guys, welcome back to the Bakery Shack and my name is Shamila, not Jamila, Shamela, Shamila, plain and simple Shamila, okay? Right. So today we'll be making baked salmon. So let's get to it. So here we have two pieces of salmon. I have already pre-soaked in some salt water and a little bit of lime juice. I have washed them with clean water and then I have patted them dry with uh, some paper towel. So I'm putting them here in an oven dish. I have it lined with foil, much easier for the cleanup, you know, less time wasted. Here I have the seasons that I will be using. I am using roasted garlic pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, lemon pepper this is a pre-mix season uh, i'll make a new video on what i have in here because i really can't remember right now i'm here and i have some chili flakes in here some chili flakes pepper and a dash of cayenne so we're gonna first Put some of the mixed seasoning onto the fish. I'll rub it in a little bit, not too much, because you actually want the taste to come from your onions and stuff like that. This is just to enhance the flavor a little bit. So I'm gonna just rub this in a little bit. little bit more don't forget to rub the sides of your salmon as well the more love you give her the tastier she will be gently not too hard you don't want to break the fish. You'll be looking for the pieces in the oven. Okay, that's rubbing a little good. Now I'm going to put on some of the roasted garlic. I'm not going to use too much because I'm also using the garlic powder. Not too much because I also has, I also have the fresh garlic that I'll be using and onion. So it's just, just a little bit of flavoring. You can also pre-mix this in a bowl all together, but... less washing you gauge how much pepper you want on yours not everybody could eat a lot of pepper <coughs> me I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of chili flakes on the top not too much because i just use the cayenne cayenne is hot i have here already pre-cut uh, some white onions red onions i have the red sweet pepper i have um let me put it like that you can see better i have some sliced tomato celery stock the top of the celery garlic pinch of ginger so I'm going to start with the ginger because that's the least just sprinkle it over all over I'm 
We're going to have a yummy dinner today, guys. Salmon is good for you. You know that, right? I hope you do. Back home, we don't eat salmon. We eat the fresh fish from the sea. Okay, that's enough garlic because we 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 ain't trying to attract Dracula. Okay, now I'm gonna add on my celery stalks. You just build it nicely. Don't mind my fingers, guys. I had a little accident. You know, some people are clumsy. Okay, put on your celery stalks. Then I'm going to put on the onions. The red onions on over here too. After you finish doing all of this, leave your fish for at least an hour. Let the seasoning pull in through the fish. It'll be so tasty and good. Just set it aside. Cover it up with foil. Set it aside. Go about your day. Do your do. Okay, so I'm putting on the white onions or yellow onions, whatever you call them. Just build it nicely. It will look pleasing to the eyes when it's finished baking. We're going to, oh, I forgot to mention, we're going to be baking these. Well, you don't see already, it's in the baking tray, so. <laughs> that would be something else to go take it up, fry it in a pan. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of tomatoes on the top. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Here, another piece of tomato. There's a little piece of leaves from the celery stalk that I'm going to use. Oops. Okay, I'm going to put on some of the paprika, paprika. In my bad English, I call it paprika. Guys, comment down below. Where all you are you looking? F are you watching from? Which countries are you watching from? We are interested in knowing where you are all from. Interact. Don't be shy up in here. Don't be shy. Guys, give me two seconds. I forgot my fresh time. I just ran outside in my little garden to get some, some chive. I make a little parcel. Parcel. And a little bit of thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme, go ahead. Use the dry one from the store. right you're looking good we're going to cover this up leave it about one hour and then we're gonna bring you back show you the rest before we're going to put it in the oven half hour before you're going to put it in the oven start warming your oven up at about 230 degrees celsius be back in an hour guys so now it's been an hour since the salmon has been pulling in that lovely season that we have topped it off with now the final touch before we go ahead and put it in the oven would be to use some sesame oil 
you don't have to use this if you don't have it or if you don't want to put it on this is how I like I have here some oyster sauce not too much because it's a little salty watch the weight a little bit of sweet chili sauce as I said again you don't have to put this on if you don't want it but it gives it a very nice flavor I know some of you will be there like what's she doing trust me guys I know what I'm doing olive oil don't be cheap put on as much as you like I'm not being cheap and stingy. I want my fish to be nice and soft. Right. So this is what you're looking like. Now we're going to put this in the oven. 230 degrees Celsius. Half hour. Then you go and you check on the, on the salmon guys look at that beautiful color in the oven it smells wonderful in here oh we'll be back we'll be back we'll be back so we're now taking the salmon out of the uh, oven as you can see it's finished it took more than half hour it took about 45 minutes so this is what your salmon should be looking like. Not dry, just nice. When you cut into it, you will see how soft it is on the inside. We're gonna plate this up, come back and show you what it looks like when you cut into it. Go ahead, give this recipe a try. If you do, comment down below. Let us know what you think of it. Also, comment down below what recipes would you like to see on the channel? I hope you enjoy this. And until the next video, love and blessings.